welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today, this is my 2019 Halloween makeup look. Um, I'm going to go ahead and call this a butterfly inspired look. I was calling it a butterfly, but I'm like, hey, I feel like it's more of like makeup look instead of the actual butterfly but yeah i wanted this to be more on like the simple side so that's easier for you guys to recreate i hope you guys enjoy so let me go ahead and start naming off the products that i'm using the first thing i did use was the new kylie skin lip mask i love this it's so amazing so i put it on my lips first to make sure my lips are super hydrated during the tutorial then after that i used the elf hello hydration face cream to moisturize my skin and i jumped right into eyes i'm doing my eyes first just in case there's fallout um, and I use the P. Louise makeup base in white and I'm pretty much covering every inch of my eye even like towards my temples and like the bridge of my nose and then I am taking the shade D3 from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina Pro Pigment Palette Volume 2. Whew, a mouthful. Okay so as you can see I'm kind of creating like a butterfly wing I guess you could say that's what I was thinking when I was like creating the shape I want it to be super dramatic and like very large um, so that's why I'm taking the shadow all the way to my temple and all the way to the inner corner even up towards my brow right there funny story the mic I was recording on just totally pooped out <laughs> <laughs> and I even just had to run to Best Buy to buy a new one. So the audio might sound a little different, but hopefully this is a little bit better than what you guys were hearing before. Okay, so to blend that out, I'm using the shade Bubblegum from the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Jawbreaker Palette. And I'm pretty sure I'm using the Morphe M433 brush. Now I'm taking a pencil brush and just going back in and deepening up the D3 color from the Norvina Palette. Um, but while I do this, let me go ahead and tell you guys what I used for my brows because I forgot to film that part. So what I did was use the fuchsia color from the Makeup Forever Flash Palette um, with a brow brush and like used it like a pomade um, to fill in my brows. And then I took the ColourPop Pink Ink Mascara and ran that through um, on top of that fuchsia color. What I'm doing right now is making a cut crease and I'm using that same P. Louise white base for this and this really tiny Morphe brush. I'm not sure of the number, um, but yeah, I just really take my time and you're going to see I mess up right here. So I love this base because all I have to do is wipe it off and like you can see I'm doing right now. I just wipes it off and then I go back in with that D3 color and like a small angled brush and boom, it's like it never happened. I love this base so, so much. Okay, so now I'm going to fix the wing uh, where I messed up before, and as you can see, it's so easy to go over this base and just fix it. It literally looks like it never happened. Now I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Alyssa Edwards palette, and the shade that I'm using to pack on my lid um, is the shade Headliner. It's super white, and I'm just going over this a lot just to make sure it's super, super, super white. Now I'm going back into that shade Bubblegum from the Jawbreaker palette and taking this tiny Beauty Bakery brush, <laughs> brush and I'm filling in like the second half of my eye um, and like the outer corner too. Then I'm going to take this small angled brush and that D3 color again to go around the wing just to make sure I didn't lose any of that shadow right there. And I used this like shader smudge brush um, to blend the two colors together. I didn't think they were blended enough so I just took my time and really blended and oh there is Milo. <laughs> <laughs> he likes to be on camera guys he every time I'm in my studio he's like um 
hi can i go see mommy so he likes to see what's going on so he wanted to be on camera for a second and say hi sorry if i sound like really quiet milo is taking a nap and i just don't want to wake him up <laughs> I wanted to add something else to like the inner corner of the eye so I'm using this ColourPop pink eyeliner to draw a line from like the inner corner to almost halfway on my lid. I did mess up a little bit you'll see that in just a second and all I did was take um, a small brush that I used actually to carve out the cut crease with some of that uh, P. Louise base and just cleans it up really quick and then I go over top of that with Urban Decay Junk Show Glitter Liner. And then I added some rhinestones because a lot of butterflies have like spots, you know, um, and I just thought that this would be a cool way to like sort of mimic that. Now I'm applying some NARS Climax Mascara. I always like to apply a little bit of liquid liner to my inner corner if I'm not wearing wing liner, just so that my falsies blend. Um, and I'm applying the Flutter Lashes Turbulence Lashes. These lashes are really dramatic and long, and I thought they were just perfect for this look. Now that my lashes are on, I'm going to go ahead and just take a makeup wipe and clean up any fallout that I have. I did apply eye cream at the beginning, um, but I pretty much just wiped it all off. So I'm just applying the same First Aid Beauty um, eye cream. Now moving on to my face, I'm going to be using the Smashbox Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Primer. Then to correct my dark circles and any darkness that I have on my face, I'm going to be using the Bobbi Brown Peach Corrector. All right, so this, <laughs> this guys is where I messed up. Okay, first I'm applying the L'Oreal True Match Foundation, one of my favorites. And for some reason, I grabbed the wrong shade. I don't even know how, but this was way too yellow on me. As you can see, I'm like, um, oh my God, what did I do? And I eventually figure out that it's the wrong shade. Um, so I'm applying this first. I already applied it to half my face. I was like, hey, I'm going to apply it to the rest. And then after that, I'm going to be applying the Yensa BC foundation in the shade medium. That is one of my favorite foundations. And you'll see that it really tones down the yellowness that the L'Oreal True Match has. Look, see, I'm like, what in the world? <laughs> Moving right along, I decided to use Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Medium. You guys know it's my absolute favorite, and for this look, I wanted to make sure I concealed, and this is my tried and true concealer. It's the bomb. If you haven't tried it, you better stop watching this video and run to your nearest Ulta. It's the best.
Okay, so at this point, I'm exhausted. I pretty much blended my arms off. <laughs> so I'm going to take my Laura Mercier loose translucent powder and set my entire face. Just dusting this off with a Morphe brush. I wanted my contour to be bright pink. I just thought it would bring the look together. So I'm using the ColourPop Seed You Later blush. It's from the Strawberry Collection. And I'm using like this dome-shaped Morphe brush to kind of contour and bronze at the same time. This did take me a little while to blend out because I wanted it to be super like flawless and not patchy. So just really take your time on this part and make sure that, you know, it's well blended. So I went ahead and set my face and prepped it for highlighter using the Anastasia Dewy Set. And then for highlighter, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Dream Glow Kit in the shade Unicorn. It's like a pink with a purple undertone. And as you can see, it has like a lot of chunky glitter. And I just thought it would be perfect for a butterfly, you know, even though butterflies don't even wear highlighter. Since this highlighter is so glittery and chunky, really take your time to blend it out because if not, it just like sits on the top of your face and it can kind of look a little crazy. So I really took my time to blend it out. All right, for lips, I'm using Kylie Cosmetics Say No More lipstick. There is no other perfect pink lipstick. I mean, this was literally <laughs> the most perfect lipstick for this look. Um, and then I did apply the ColourPop So Juicy Clear Gloss on top. I just forgot to record that part. So for my lower lash line, I applied a Marc Jacobs eyeliner. It is the shade Pink of Me. And then I'm going in with a Anastasia angled brush and that D3 shadow again on this pencil brush. And I lined my waterline and I took it out to my temple. And I'm just blending that out so it's not like just a harsh line. And then going back over in it to deepen that line in case I lost any color. And now, guys, we are finished with this tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed it. This was something different for me, and it was a lot of fun. Don't forget to like and subscribe on your way out, and make sure you hit that notification bell because I'm going to be posting a lot more, and you don't want to miss a video. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.